Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing a full glam transformation and I haven't worn full glam makeup in such a long time. Since the pandemic I've been wearing light medium coverage foundations, I have been having very natural looks. Most days I don't even wear makeup so today is going to be very very different for me and I'm going to be full glam. going to do my hair, going to do my makeup. Now I have already slightly curled my hair but that's just because I want to save a little bit of time and it's quite tricky for me to curl my hair on camera so I've already done that but I'm going to be adding extensions we're going to be doing full glam makeup full coverage makeup so it's going to be really really different and I'm going to look from this where I look so tired to actually looking awake so if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit the bell icon just stay notified every time I upload a new video so this is the first transformation I've ever done on my channel and I'm so excited to do it I've seen loads of these videos and looking at what people look like before to what they look like after is so different and this one is probably going to be very different from the before and after so I'm going to go ahead do the transformation and if you want to see me go from this to full glam then just keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to apply is sunscreen this is what I apply all the time this is specifically for the face this also acts as a primer because it's a shine control and non-sticky formula so I'll put this all over my face and all over my neck. The one that I'm using is from Nivea and it's the SPF 50 and it's shine control so good doesn't break me out works amazingly with my oily skin so definitely pick it up if you want to test out a sunscreen that is super affordable. The next thing to do is prime and I'm using the two favourite primers that I have at the moment. These are the e.l.f. matte putty primer and the wet and wild photo focus coconut primer water. Love these things they are so good they keep my oils at bay they work with all of my foundations so just going to apply this to all of the areas where I'm super oily this also helps with pores as well. I absolutely love the smell of this primer the coconut one the scent is amazing it's not too overpowering but Oh, it just smells exactly like summer and it's so beautiful and because today I'm using a full coverage foundation I'm gonna do my eyes first so I'm just gonna take my concealer and use this as an eyeshadow base this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer love this stuff I've used this for such a long time I will not go to another concealer because it's perfect and it stays on all day so I'm just gonna use this as an eyeshadow base and then I'm gonna set it with my Coty Airspun powder which I love this is my holy grail stuff I've not found a face powder that's as good as this because this stays put all day for my eyeshadow today I'm going to take my Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette love this palette it is so good I did do a first impression on it which I'll link down below or somewhere in this video for you so you can check out but this is amazing the colors are so good just look at how beautiful those shades are there's so many different looks that you can create from this so today I'm going to create a little bit of a smoky eye and I'm so excited so the first shade that I'm going to take is Mila and it's this one right here and I'm going to use this as a transition shade the next shade that I'm going to take is 5am which is this one right here this one is a deep brown shade and I'm just going to put this in the crease and then also work it onto the outer third And then I'm just blending this out with a clean blending brush. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the purple called Slasher, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to put this on the outer third. And you only need a little amount of this because there's so much pigmentation in this purple. And then I'm just going to bring this a little more in. So it goes almost halfway. I'm also going to work this a little bit higher as well. So it sort of goes into a little bit of a point. Just so it sort of makes the eyes go a little bit more up. I'm then going to do a cut crease taking my concealer. And I'm just going to cut all to probably about two thirds of the way. I'm then taking this shade right here called underground and I'm going to pat this all over the lid and I'm going to use my fingers for this because this is so pigmented as you can see that is only a tiny bit that I pressed in there and I'm just going to pat this all over where I've put the concealer. Then I'm going to take Slash and 5am mix them together which are these two the ones that we've already used and then just put this on the outer third just to sort of blend it a little bit more. And then I'll 
so work it a little bit up to the crease as well then we're just gonna blend this out as much as we can I'm also going to take this shade Ivy and I'm just going to press this on the middle of the lid. Then I'm going to take the same shade and put it under the brow bone. I'm just going to use it a little bit. And then I'm going to take some more of my finger and I'm just going to pop it in the middle. And for eyeliner I'm using two from NYX and one I'm going to tightline my upper waterline and the other one I'm going to do a flick. So the first one that I'm taking is the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On eyeliner in the shade brown perfection then i'm using the epic wear waterproof liquid liner and this one is in the shade black and for mascara i'm using my maybelline the full season lash lift mascara which i love i'm only going to do one coat of this because we're going to put on some false lashes as well And while I'm waiting for the mascara to dry i'm going to do my eyebrows so i'm using my mac eyebrow styler in the shade stylized I'm going to also use a brow gel but I'm going to do that after I do my foundation that's just how I do my brows just in case I get any foundation in there and for eyelashes I just use some from Eyelore I can't remember the name of them but I will put them down below in the description so you know exactly which ones I use but I love these lashes and never worn them before but they look absolutely stunning so I'm going to go ahead and go on to the rest of the face so for foundation I'm using the most full coverage foundation I've used and this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation I haven't used this in such a long time and I'm so excited to use it again I remember this being full coverage it doesn't show anything for it and it lasts all day As you can see this is one layer and this has literally covered everything up this is an amazing foundation I can't remember when I last used it but this is so good so I'm gonna use my concealer just take my elf one again and I'm just gonna conceal and highlight everywhere that I want to conceal so here where I have the eyeshadow I am just gonna push it up like this just so we can lift up the eyes a little bit I'm also going to set all this into place using my Coty Air Spun Powder. I would usually press all of this into the skin, but I'm just going to use a brush. Just because this is full coverage, this is completely matte, so I don't really need to press the powder in there. I can just basically do a light dusting over the face. And I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze up the skin. And I'm just going to take a Duo Fibre Brush, and I'm just going to pat this on everywhere that I would usually put bronzer. And for blush, I'm using one of my Holy Grails. This is the MAC Spring Sheen Blush. I love this. I've used this for years and years. It's the only MAC blush that I own. I think because it's so perfect that I don't really need another one. And to highlight, I'm using another one of my Holy Grails. This is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighting Powder. Love this stuff. It's super affordable. It's like three pounds and it lasts all day. It has such an amazing highlight. And then I'm just going to do underneath the brow bone as well. And now that we're almost finished, we're going to finish off the eyes and I'm going to take the purple and the brown that we use, so 5am and Slasher, and I'm going to mix these together and put these on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take some of the Ivy and I'm going to put that on the inner corner. And to finish off my brows, I'm taking the NYX Tinted Brown Mascara in the shade Chocolate. And I'm going to align my lower waterline using exactly the same eyeliner that I used before. And the final thing to do for my makeup is my lips. And I'm using two of my favourite products. I love this lip combo. So the first one is my lip liner and I'm using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Stockholm. I know that I've used so many NYX products but I promise this one is the last one. I love NYX products so 
yeah that's why there's loads of them in this video and then for lip gloss i'm using the glazed lip gloss by cab cosmetics this stuff is amazing it is my favorite lip kit and i have all the lip kits so i'm just going to use this to line my lips and fill in my lips and i'm going to use the gloss to go over the top And this is a finished makeup look and I'm going to go ahead and put in my hair extensions and we'll see what it looks like with the final transformation. And these are my hair extensions from Foxy Lux. These were curled I think three days ago so this is three days worth of waves and I really like them. As you can see they are getting a little bit dry so I do need to wash them but I love these. This isn't even all of the hair extensions because I feel like that these are so thick that I don't actually need to put any more wefts in my hair so I'm going to go ahead and put these in and we will see what it looks like. And this is the finished look. I've done all of my makeup, I've done my hair. I love these hair extensions. Like I said, not all of them are in my hair, but I absolutely love them. And I feel like that I've done a massive transformation. I feel like I look so different to when I first started. I love all of the eye look and the hair as well, just everything. So this is the transformation I did today. I am zero to 100 and I feel like I look very put together and I feel like I look very wide awake as well so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you want to see any more videos of transformations then just comment down below to let me know and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys bye